Good morning, it's Saturday and it is my last day in Auckland, last day of fashion week and I'll show you my makeup real quickly. I'm just running downstairs to check out. So I just did a really basic makeup look, just a shimmery kind of like tan color all over and then blush nude look. And then oh, I've got the Gold Digger by EXO Beauty lashes on. They were being a pain in the ass today, well I was being a pain in the ass, I just could not like work my fingers um so yeah i'm just meeting amanda downstairs gonna check out and then we're gonna go get some breakfast and head into fashion week the mac hair looks really cool pull the lips everywhere opi so we were running late so we couldn't get breakfast so we're just heading to our first show now yeah i'm so hungry we're gonna have to go get food afterwards okay we managed to find some spare time so we've rushed in for a quick breakfast this place is called rush work and it's just down in when you quarter the bite I got fruit toast and I'm so excited. This is what heaven looks like. Thank you. The climb <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> I found Shanna. We're at Smashbox. For the Smashbox show, we had a bit of drama getting in here, but we're good. Yeah. We're good now. We're good. Happy vibes. Yeah. Happy vibes into I'll the I'll tell world. you more later. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got four different looks today. Are we still going to be posting on IG? Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, okay. Definitely a good lip balm yep. when you're doing your makeup. So cute, look at this. Chris has found himself a bag he likes. Like what? Oh my god. It's you. It's me, right? I'm going black, <laughs> and like black and white go together so well. Right? <laughs> they have a black one as well. So this yeah. is like the garage sale where they, all the designers from the show sell stuff. They're like kind of cheaper. So cheap, under eighty dollars. Yeah, dance for me. So good. You're so good. <laughs> so now we're going to the Cleo fashion show, which I think it's just like Cleo picks, is that right? Cleo picks out like their favorite pieces and designers and stuff. And it's like a runway show this time. The Smashbox one was different to what we thought it was gonna be. It was like a class. Yeah. Hi, bitch. <laughs> this weave though. Those nails though. <laughs> Yes! Oh my gosh, nail envy. Nail envy. Shannon and I is on fleek for the G. Yes! Yes! That is nothing more. We're in the Cleo show. We're right here next to where all the like photographers take the photos. So I'll get some good shots. The photographers are all over there. Um, so we just did Tom's 
Three Children and Neat, and so Shane and I are here, and this is the set up, and we are going to paint some shoes, and then I think, I think we're giving the shoes away. I'm too scared to do anything else in case I ruin it, and Shane is doing some blue polka dots. I didn't really go too hard out on my shoes. I feel like I should have put something on the outside. So we're just outside waiting for a ride now. Um, we've left a couple hours early just because I'm starting to get a really, really swollen, like, glandular area. I think I'm just, like, exhausted, worn out, tired, I've got a headache, not feeling 100% and not feeling focused. And I'm also incredibly hungry. So we're gonna go find some food. Um, with those toms, I ended up doing a tweet and saying, like, oh, someone come pick them up. So hopefully someone grabs them. So yeah, we're just waiting for our ride. Gonna go get some food and then basically sometime after that I'll be heading off to the airport. <laughs> and I'll be off home to see the puppies and I can't wait to see them. And Hamish. <laughs> so for lunch today we've had falafel on rice and hummus and veggies and stuff. We're at like a Turkish restaurant. And that is as much neater than mine. I've kind of like dissected my, well no, what's the opposite of dissected? Demolished? Yeah, well demolished. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm in the car and I'm back in Palmy. I just landed and it is 10 past 8 and I'm just grabbing some dinner, which this is so bad, but I'm having butter sauce and rice and garlic naan bread. <laughs> I'm like craving Indian food and I'm just so tired. My gland on the side of my neck is just like, it always happens. Like I get really swollen glands when I'm exhausted and tired and stressed and stuff. I have not had that much sleep over the last few days. It sounds really lame. Like, unless you've been to NZ Fashion Week and, like, done the whole experience, you probably will think the same thing that I thought before. Like, oh, how can you get tired doing it? But honestly, I had, like, almost no downtime. Like, the only downtime I had was spent editing my videos. And then the other only downtime we had was last night, Friday night, when me and Amanda, like, hung out. But that was still pretty full on, like because we wanted to make the most of our time together because I don't get to see her very often. So we had lots of fun. But anyway, I thought I'd fill you in on what happened before the Smashbot show, how me and Chris were like, oh my God, so much drama. So basically I have never been more embarrassed in my entire life life so basically like amanda's like friends with the event coordinator like of the whole like nz fashion week like you know the big boss man that runs it all and we were like okay so what show should we go to today like what's good he's like oh blah 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 blah. and we were like okay do we need any new passes he's like no you've got your vip passes from throughout the week like those will be sweet enjoy your day have fun like enjoy it and we were like cool yay so we hop in this line and this lady was just like really she at first she was like why are you coming through this door because we went through the wrong door or something by accident like yes our bad sorry it was like the other door that was open the rest of the week but for the weekend they'd shut it off to the public so she was angry that we came through there um so we're like oh sorry and she's like do you have passes we're like yep here they are she's like those aren't the right passes and we were like oh and then amanda's like sorry like she's vip she's been vip all week so do you mind like if we can just get in blah 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 and she was like no you're not vip and then amanda's like yes she is and then the lady was like no she's not get out of the line and then we were like what and like everyone was watching me like everyone in the line was watching us and the lady's like get out of the line get out and I was like holy crap like what's happening um she was like get the right pass or like leave which is fair enough but I was like oh my gosh like you know the guy that runs the entire event has told us that this is fine and he wants us to go to this event and now like this lady's like no you don't have passes so anyway Amanda rang up the big boss man and he's like, no, you can definitely get in. I'll send someone to let her know. So he sends someone to let her know from, that works at NZ Fashion Week. And this lady's just like, no, no, they're not getting in. She was like, until they have like the proper paperwork and the proper passes, I'm not letting them in these doors. And then like all of these people are like, no, you don't understand. Like blah, blah, blah has said that they need to be in the show. Like they have to be here. They need to go in this building. And she was just like, no. You're not getting in. Um, and eventually we did sort it out and she was just like really angry. And like I literally like was tearing and swelling up like walking through the door because I was so mortified and embarrassed. Like it was just this like huge scene and me and Amanda were literally just so confused because like we'd been told that it would be okay. And it totally wasn't his fault at all. It was just like this lady was just doing her job but she was just being very firm about it even when people were like no like it is okay. <sighs> it was mortifying like I yeah. 
it was pretty crap. But the show was good and then the rest of the day was good until I started feeling ill. It just sucks when stuff like that happens. Like, it wouldn't have been so bad if like all these people weren't just watching me. <laughs> there was just so many people like staring. If you didn't get the gist, MZ Fashion Week basically gave me like VIP passes and everything to attend the shows. So I was like media, but I didn't have to do anything. Like it was literally just like, hey, we'd love for you to come and look at the collections. And if you enjoy it, feel free to vlog, feel free to do whatever you like feel like doing. So that's why I've been vlogging. I thought it'd be so fun to show you guys like behind the scenes and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, I was just like, oh my God. Like when that happened, I was just like, okay. That's cool. And then they were trying to say like, okay, she can go in, but Amanda can't go in. Like, I can go in, but Amanda can't go in. And I was like, well, I don't want to go then. Like, I don't want to just go by myself. Like, <sighs> it's just a big drama. So yeah, now I'm getting some comfort food. Here comes Hamish. Hey, Zeus, look who's home. I'm home. Did you miss me? Zeus, did you miss me? Did you? Where's Louise? Didn't come to say hello. There he is. Hello. Oh, look, your giraffe's still around. Hello, bug. Did you miss me? Huh? I think he's angry at me because I ditched him for a few days. I love you. Do you still love me? Me and Hamish just watching Trailer Park Boys now and I'm going to go have an early night. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I will talk to you soon. Bye.